all right folks welcome back to another awakened chaos era video and um, we've just signed in and the update's gone live so we've got a bunch of new stuff in game including finally this guild versus environment thing so we're going to jump into that mainly and have a little look at that but i do notice they've also got an advanced summon for a new legendary so we're going to have a quick look at her now one thing i've noticed they've changed um for whatever reason the, the challenges which were the foodies quests i believe seem to be here now which is strange it's an adventure I'm not totally sure, like, there's like ones even on stage one that I've missed, so I don't know, don't exactly know if that's like extra ones I've added in or something, but, um, you know, I've not actually done my foodies quest yet, I'm basically there, but, yeah, so here, that's one, that's unlocked, that's locked for some reason, I don't really understand this yet, I've, I've literally just logged in, but, uh, yeah, that's the one I've just completed here, so I'm still at this stage. That's correct. I was only a few off getting the final one here, but, yeah, who knows? That's been moved, but the index has now been moved, so I couldn't find it for ages. I didn't actually realize it's right at the top here, so anyone looking for the index, it's actually up here. Um, we'll have a little look at this new hero, which, um, where is she? There she is. So we're looking at some sort of, sort of Persian-themed lady by the looks of it, an S tier on health, so she's got a huge amount of health actually. Uh, good speed as well. Let's see what our rate does. A uh, grants 80% splash, area splash damage and restores 20% lost health to team members next ability after every two basic abilities. That's a weird way of wording it, but yeah. After every couple of abilities it adds basically an AoE of 100% and restores 30%. Okay, strange way of wording it, but cool. Uh, deals 80% damage to two enemies, re removes one positive effect. Wow, that's pretty strong. So that's almost a strip, like a half strip on a, on a basic. <laughs> pretty cool. Deals all team members based on the amount of this character's max health. 100% chance of transferring any stat reducing negative effect to a random enemy. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if that's... So that, um, so that basically cleanses... So I guess you'll have to have the focus, because if you don't have the focus, maybe that won't transfer it. And you, so it's not technically a cleanse. But if you've got the focus, you'll transfer. Let's hope our ultimate needs focus too then. Uh, yes, it does. Here we go. Increased damage taken. Heals all team members based on the amount of this character's max health. Applies bonus attack to the target for two turns. Applies increased damage taken on all enemies for two. Wow. That's quite good. Yeah, this could make for really interesting go second teams in Arena anyway, or she's going to be a monster against a lot of the, the big bosses. Uh, great. Yeah, she's going to be good, I think. Yeah, it's a really strong hero, actually. I do like this ultimate. That's really strong. Um, and I quite like that for just a basic too. So, yeah, I'm not going to go too in-depth on her. I just wanted a quick look. Um, the other things I noticed new, apart from this really annoying thing, I wish that we could get rid of that notification. That's annoying. The arena now, the sky jewels, I'm assuming this is the real-time arena, um, and you've got the basic arena here, so, yeah, so that's something new, um, yeah, let's just crack on, let's have a look at this guild thing, I just signed in, so it is definitely here, finally, we're in guild versus environment, right, so we're capturing the hurricane throne in each on the area of each floor where the ultimate boss hurricane ruler is located, capture at least one element guard tower to unlock each element guard tower grants the hurricane ruler a special ability. Occupying a guard tower causes the hurricane ruler to lose. Okay, so you've basically got a main boss, and all these little bosses give him extra abilities. It says capture at least one element tower to unlock him. I'm assuming the more you capture, the easier he's going to be. Every 10 ancient relics capture, blah, blah, blah. Use talent points. Each medium relic. Okay, cool. Guild leaders and deputy leaders can use set root and set root for... Okay, that's quite useful that you can actually set a root. Um, guild members can earn exploration points by capturing relics with a number of points closely linked to damage inflicted. Successfully occupying a floor's hurricane throne earns points for all relics in the floor region. Right, let's just get in. There he is. There's the big boy. The ultimate goal is to break the central link, central relic, and obtain the treasures and exploration points. Raid the elemental guard tower first before attacking the central relic. Yep, that makes sense. Elemental guard towers provide a constant supply of arcane energy to the central relic. 
break more than one to attack the central relic breaking element guard towers removes their boost effects yeah just like what it said before the ruins are now open for exploring gather the strength of all your guild members and keep exploring blah 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 and we've got some exploration points already <coughs> rewards what can we get let's see what the top reward is contains a random item such as six star legendary accessory chests elemental summoning crystals yeah diamonds five star pumpkins cool guild lord's chest very cool right we have got um we've been discussing it as uh, a guild figuring out where to go there was one here so this not entirely sure how this is working yet but yeah it seems like like these squares here we can't go on them it's just the glowing one oh can we no, so it's just literally just the glowing ones you can go on to. Um, these are the ancient relics, so that's what we... Um, where's the... Elemental Guard Tower. That's the ancient relics here. Every 10 ancient relics captured grants one talent point. Use talent points to learn abilities that can significantly boost power. So they're going to be really useful. So yeah, we want to collect a lot of these because we do seem to have one talent unlocked already. So this is going to give you like, oh, we're looking at 50% crit damage, speed and attack decreases by 5% each turn. That's good. Uh, crit damage up till the end of turn, max five stats. Yep. Attacks increase the chance of bonus turn by 10% per negative effect affecting the target. Yes, these are pretty strong. We're going all the way up to here. Attacks deal 30% more damage for each enemy hit unremovable 10% attack grants all heroes attack up yeah so these are going to be really important i think in getting this lot that's the elemental guard towers this guard tower grants the hurricane rush the hurricane ruler banish um banish at the start of each round the hurricane ruler removes all negative effects and grants itself three stacks so that sounds terrible um so yeah these are going to be but it looks like this is going to take a while though guys because we get two attacks so if you click on one of these you've got remaining two so that's refreshed daily i believe this here is a medium relic what does the medium relic do again each medium relic captured grants a stack of exortion boosting all guild members stats max 50 stacks so i wonder where that keeps a track of this is just your thing there must be an area that actually tells you about the exhaustion level surely um Right, I'm going to jump in. This looks like something we're supposed to do here. So a small relic looks pretty blah, blah, blah. Let's jump in, see what the score is. It's just taking a good old standard team. It should kill folk. Taking, I would normally take in Hakrim, but we'll take in Methasia just in case it's tough. Level 50, this should be fairly easy. I think we can just auto this. Come on, Natalia. That's so just that. That was it. Okay. So super simple, guys. Fifteen points damage. We get some energy. We get an any item of your choice. I will take one um, character name, Mathesia, please. Just to make my six star extension, Mathesia. Right. Cool. So that's me use one attack. Capture ancient relics. There's a medium relic. Ah, uh, wait a minute. So it looks like these squares that are already thingied off have been defeated by somebody. I think. Yeah, let's just go in. I'm supposed to be doing this for the guild anyway, so let's just go in. Same again. Oh, so they're on cool? Okay, right. Ah, see. That's interesting. Um, shouldn't use my best team for the for the rubbish right i'll just jump in with these like i say i don't have many folk built up just now because i've been mucking about with uh, the new guild boss so much it's just one wave still you didn't die though round three out of ten so i wonder if you just do it in like round one you'll get more points i'm guessing okay so that's our two attacks for the day, guys. Current extortion A. Okay, there we go. That's where it is. Okay, so it looks like route planning underway. 
Occupy the surrounding relics, activate this relic. Okay, that's fine. Looks like this is how the, the guild the guild boss is going to plan a route. I'm not actually going to show you all that because it's maybe giving away our secrets. Um, Yeah. Okay, well, seems interesting. I have heard a lot of reports about it being quite buggy, guys, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, what are these? Mysterious arrays. So that's the buzz things. Um, yeah, so it looks like this is going to be a long ordeal. It's going to take a while to get down to the boss. Do we get any information on the actual boss here? Um, doesn't say common enhance. I'm sure that's not the case. A reward for beating this dude is a common enhancement pack. Surely not. If that's the case, that's the ultimate troll. Like the ultimate troll. Um... Okay, it's probably going to take a few days. I'm going to do an updated video on this once we really get a grasp of what's going on. But uh, I think I kind of get it. So you basically got to plan out a route with all your guildmates. You're not all attacking your own random areas. You want to have a set route so you collect as much of this as possible. Um, figure out if you're going to go for more of these to make it easier or if you're going to go for more of the red skulls, which make more sense. Um, and you get two attacks per day. Can't just click on a random one. It has to be one of these glowy ones to start. Yeah, it looks it looks interesting. I see the uh, there we go. Bug Wars is here, so I'm not totally sure what this is. This is a notice, um, <laughs> a notice of nothing, apparently. Uh, confirm, I confirmed to something. Don't know what it was. Um, so it is a bit buggy, but it's not like insanely buggy. I was still a bit to get my attacks off, but I really do like the idea of yeah, getting the guild leader to plan a route out, go through the whole map, um, have a cool ass boss to fight at the end. Hopefully, not get a common enhancement pack that's pretty brutal if that is the case but i'm sure that's not the case uh because up here you get some good rewards here random accessories six star legendaries fight yeah you know so guild pioneers chest standard elemental chest yeah although it's a lot of points we have to get and we're very low we've only got 708 and we're looking at <laughs> yeah okay there must be a quicker way that's 13 two weeks Okay, so double clicking, guys, does something. Okay, double clicking did zoom in, but now we're zoomed right in. What the hell? Okay, well, we're stuck like this, <laughs> apparently. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, this is super buggy, okay. Like, I think double clicking together is supposed to be a zoom mechanic, but it's not working. So, yeah, all in all, um, I'm pretty pleased. I, th I like the fact that it lasts two weeks long. That's really cool. It's two weeks of coordinating with a with a, a guild to complete this, which is pretty awesome. And the fact that it's a mobile game, you know, you can do it when you're out and about and stuff. So it's and it's two attacks. It's not like you're tied to a load of time either. So if this can work well and it's not super buggy, I think this is really good, depending on what the rewards are like. Um, oh, here's this stupid zoom bug again. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. No idea. Um, yeah, so I do like the idea of that. They've also, I've noticed they've not incorporated any monetization into it. I was a little worried that they would maybe be like, you know, typical raid would probably do this. They would be, they would have some sort of bonus if everybody spends like £10, everyone gets a super bonus or something. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad they've not done that. It seems free to play friendly um, to an extent. I don't know how hard the, the final boss is going to be with standard heroes. I guess the only other thing I've not really covered here it does say floor one at the top here and those two fights were ridiculously easy so this might just be a case if you do have a better guild of just zooming through a lot of this stuff not worrying about collecting all these bonuses and stuff and just trying to attack the boss and seeing how easy he is to kill because if it's just floor one and that would explain why we're so slow on the points maybe the points ramp up the more floors you go down and you've got two weeks to do this so yeah it's all hearsay oh there's the zoom again <laughs> it's all hearsay just now but um yeah i think um yeah, if it's floor one, there must be, I don't know how many floors there'll be, but there must be quite a few. Right, so we did actually get one little bit more information that I noticed on the chat here, so I thought I'd just quickly chuck this in at the end of the video. This is actually quite important. So Elemental Guard Tower, there are four towers on the map, so that's the ones that surround the boss. Once your guild has destroyed a tower, you gain a bonus attack. Destroying each tower grants the entire guild an extra attack. Destroying all towers will give you a maximum amount of four extra attacks a day giving you six attacks per day so that makes a huge difference so yeah i was thinking two attacks a day this is going to be pretty hard so you really want to go early for these for these towers by the looks of it so nice little bit of information there at the end so thank you very much ace
But yeah, yeah, that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments below how you guys are getting on with the guild versus environment. We've finally got it. It's a little buggy, but hopefully smooth itself out today. And I'll be back with another video as soon as we actually figure out exactly what's going on with it. So that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel as always. And have a great day. Peace.